What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have been asked a ton over on my Instagram to share kind of how I'm making Ember's food because I do share a lot of our day to day life over on Instagram. So if you're not following me, go follow me on Instagram. Literally we spend all day on Instagram stories and I just share what is working for us, products we're loving, just what she's experiencing, my life, my work, my workouts, like I share it all. But I've been asked a ton to share how I'm making her food. I personally am choosing to make her food. She's currently doing purees. I know there are tons of different ways to feed babies. This is personally what we're choosing. There's no right or wrong. You do what makes you happy and what makes your little one happy. But I thought that I would share today because I am gonna be prepping some food to go in our freezer for her. Um, so I thought that I would kind of share a couple of the different recipes that we're using, how I'm making her food, how I'm storing her food and stuff like that. So throughout the day, I will share little clips of how I'm making that. If that's something that interests you, then just keep on watching. So this is a little machine that we have been using for literally all her baby foods. It's just the baby Brezza. It's like an all-in-one steamer and blender. So what I love is that when I turn it on, all that I have to do is, if it just needs to be blended, all I do is push blend, but it, most of the things are steamed, then blended. So like apples, um, sweet potatoes, things like that. So this is what you guys will see in the entire video because it's what I'm using. Um, it also came with this Baby Brezza One Step Baby Food Maker Cookbook. So this has 50 wholesome organic recipes, which I absolutely love. So right now, now that she is closer to seven months old, um, and what I also love is that it kind of gives you guidelines because as a new mom, I had no idea like what she should be eating and when she should be eating it. So we've kind of been doing some of these combination foods, the combination purees. So I'm gonna be using some of these recipes as well as other recipes throughout the book, but there are tons of really good recipes. We already tried the berry and squash puree, and although that sounds um, weird to me. She loved it. So this is what I'll be using for all my recipes. Okay, here goes the first recipe. This is asparagus, mango, and avocado. So again, I'm just following this recipe right here. So we have two asparagus stalks. We have half an avocado pitted and peel removed. And then we have half a fresh mango. And then it just tells you exactly how to make it. So the cook time, super, super easy, as you can see. 10 minutes, you just place it all in the steamer, or in the bowl, I guess, and then you push steam and blend for 10 minutes, and then it's done. So 10 minutes, and she can have a really healthy, yummy little puree. So all that I have to do is push steam for 10 minutes, steam and blend, and start. And then it'll start counting down. It'll steam it, and it'll blend it automatically for me. So here's something else that I noticed that I found really interesting. So it tells you a little bit about each food and why it's good for the babies, but it says that uh, asparagus can sometimes cause gas, so mixing it with avocado will settle the baby's stomach. So that's a really cool little tip because I would have never thought to combine these things, but here's the finished product. Um, oftentimes it's a little bit runny. It's fogging up the screen. Sometimes it's a little bit runny for her. She now likes things a little bit thicker. So if it's ever um, too runny, I will just add in like baby um, oatmeal. But this looks like a really, really good consistency. Yeah. Little tip for you. If you are also focusing on eating clean and trying to just feel your body properly, um, if I'm not using everything that I used in her recipe, so I could have doubled the recipe because it did call for half a mango and half an avocado, but instead I just use that for my lunch. So I am making, well I'm having a salad. It's just mixed greens. I have chicken on there, mango, avocado, onion, cucumber, a little bit of cilantro, and then some bacon on top, and then a little life hack um, if you love like ranch or whatever your favorite dressing is but you don't want to use as much I always water it down a little bit and I add hot sauce because I love all things hot so it's gonna help you use a little bit less but it also covers way better so you don't have to use a ton to try and cover your salad 
and you still get the same great flavor. This also tells you how long things last. So storage, each recipe has this and it just lets me know like three days in the refrigerator or two months in the freezer. <laughs> Hello. She just woke up from her morning nap. So we are going to have lunch. She's going to have berries and sweet potatoes. That's what she had last night. And I'm going to have my salad and we're going to keep on prepping. Is it a little bit tart? It was raspberries and sweet potatoes. It's also very cold right now. It was in the fridge. What do you think? Do you want another bite? <gasps> Yum! Okay, next recipe is just an apple puree. So I have two medium apples and blend for 20 minutes. Okay, this next one that I'm making is pears and sweet potatoes. So I have one pear in there. And then this is like a really easy hack. So we buy organic sweet potatoes that you can freeze. That way they just last longer. And it said that you either use a full sweet potato or about one cup um, if it's like diced or whatever. So I have one cup of sweet potato. I have one pear. All that I have to do now is steam this for about 20 minutes and it, then it blend it. So I'll do the steam and blend method again for 25 minutes is what it said. first time that I fully prepped what did I do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten different um or t ten meals I guess I should say um in advance this machine and I'm not sponsored like by them I just genuinely love it but this machine just makes it super easy so typically when I'm making our dinner I'll just pop something in there and let it go and do its thing and then we'll all sit down and eat together but I thought that now that it is summer and we are on the go a little bit more often and <laughs> she normally eats in the evening around 6 30 sometimes it's nice to just have something to grab and go so Hopefully that's helpful. That's what I've personally been doing. She's been loving it. There's not anything that she like refuses to eat. There's some things that definitely like catch her off guard, but that's how I've been making my baby food and she is enjoying it. So I'm gonna freeze all of these um, and then all that I will do when she is ready for one is I will just pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds till it is warm or I will let it just thaw on the counter through the day. So. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, I would love to hear in the comments down below what were some of the first foods that you fed your baby? Um, what are some things that they maybe disliked? And I would love to know like if you do baby purees, like what you did for meats because I know that's something that we can start moving into and I have yet to try it. There are some recipes in here, but I just feel like pureed meat is weird. So leave your feedback in the comments down below but hopefully this was helpful again if you don't follow me over on instagram be sure to follow me i share all the ins and outs of my just day-to-day -day life over there and share tons of little ember so hopefully that was helpful i will talk to you guys in the next video bye